Today I am going to review a list of teachers that are mostly from the path of knowledge and are available on YouTube. Another criteria that I have used to shortlist these teachers is that they speak either English or Hindi because that's all I can review. I cannot uh, review all those great teachers that are on YouTube but probably in other languages. And uh, another criteria that I have uh, used to include them in this list is that uh, their content is mostly free. At least their videos are mostly free and most of them are available online for uh, asking questions or getting your doubts cleared uh, to get uh, one or the other kind of advice on the spiritual path. Although there are a lot of people on YouTube that are disseminating knowledge in um, one tradition or another or one school or another. Since I belong to path of knowledge myself, I do watch all these teachers who are on the path of knowledge and I, I, I gain a lot from them. So I have compiled this list which is also available on my blog. But here I am going to give you a short form version of uh, that list. So people often ask me, who is my guru? Where will I find the right teacher? And my answer is usually you will need to uh, taste a lot of teachings before you settle on uh, one person, one guru, one tradition or one school. So it is highly recommended that uh, you sample most of them, if not all, that won't be possible and uh, decide for yourself. Your guru will be uh, the one whom you like most, the one who resonates with you most and the one who shows you your own experience instead of preaching you something which is written in the books or his own random opinions. Those are not the real gurus. So at least your first guru will be the one whom you can understand perfectly, clearly. And uh, fortunately, in this uh, information age, all this information is available right here on your screen. And uh, I take advantage of this uh, technology. I take advantage of uh, internet and I keep learning. There is never a day when I do not uh, absorb something from these great people that are out there and distributing their knowledge for free most of the time. So let us go and uh, review some of uh, these uh, gurus, these uh, great teachers who are available online on YouTube or on from different mediums also, audio or blogs or websites also. And I apologize uh, in advance, if your favorite guru is not included in this list, so do let me know if uh, you have found somebody who is great on YouTube. So we will start with our first entry in the list who is a very well known guru now. He is Swami Sarvapriyanand. So just like his name says, Sarvapriya, he is popular, He everybody loves him. And uh, he is producing a lot of content on uh, YouTube under the Vedanta Society. He is absolutely brilliant and uh, although his main uh, subject is Advaita Vedanta, he is well versed in all kinds of philosophy, uh, philosophies on this planet. You can ask him about anything on this uh, in this world and he has an answer. He is absolutely brilliant fellow. He is very young, very entertaining, very charming. His uh, lectures are not at all boring. They are very, very enlight enlightening also. Another thing is that his uh, lectures are mostly in English only. Although he speaks uh, Hindi, Bengali and Sanskrit very fluently. And another thing that you must note about his content is that uh, his teachings are in a long form, which means you must devote some amount of time to uh, absorb his teachings. Although I've seen there are some channels that are cutting down his videos into short segments of five minutes or 10 minutes, seven and a half minutes. <laughs> 
so on to um, and they are doing a great job i am not saying that they should not do it but uh, remember that if you are a serious seeker you will need to devote your time to the teachings and if somebody is uh, so kind enough that uh, he is putting uh, these hours and hours long lectures on um, youtube then we should be grateful actually we should not demand that give me everything in 5 minutes that is mostly superficial and uh, superficial knowledge will make you superficial seeker remember that the real knowledge is in details and uh, swami sarvapriyanand is serving us all the details actually uh, do not uh, simply entertain yourself with 5 minute clips which uh, which um, will just clutter your mind they are not going to clarify anything for you so highly recommended uh, and i am going to give you all the links in the video description so so that you don't need to search anything the next uh, teacher in my list is uh, james swarch he is a traditional advait teacher although there are no bells and whistles in his teachings no singing and dancing but he adheres to the tradition of advait very much and the great thing about uh, his channel is there is a 16 part course which is for free on his channel and that covers almost 16 or 17 hours of lectures but uh, i've seen that it is going to save your 16 or 17 years of seeking it is so systematic and condensed in that uh, 16 lectures that probably you are not going to need any other introduction to advait uh, after you listen to that and he is very straightforward he is very direct and he explains everything in simple english another very well known name in the advait uh, field nowadays is uh, prashant tripathi he is mostly delivering his lectures to college students for some reason and uh, he he is available most of the time he has uh, online blogs and uh, website also i i don't know whether you can talk to him online but uh, he has a huge collection of videos probably there there are so many that uh, you will be lost in that huge jungle of videos there there are small videos chunks of videos so you will need to search what are you looking for and uh, probably most probably you will find exactly a video on your own question or your own topic so his teachings are little bit scattered not very much structured but uh, and he does not uh, uh, talk in uh, uh, traditional way no sanskrit words there no big heavy philosophy but he is very very accessible and pro- probably that is why he is very popular among students and uh, newcomers so his videos are both in english and hindi if you are interested another well known teacher who is not really on the advait path but he is surely on the path of knowledge and you can even say that he is into occult a little bit although he has done he has converted that opened that hidden knowledge into very very clear scientific study and uh, his teacher is obviously a very well known person in the occult field his name is robert munro and you will find the same scientific rigor in his teachings he is a physicist he is a nasa scientist or was nasa scientist and he has explored the non physical worlds probably he is the only one who belongs to the traditional sciences and also has extensive first hand knowledge of non physical he has developed his own theory which is which he calls my big theory of everything and it is very very useful possibly for those who are from a science background understand a bit of science and mathematics and uh, are uh, committed to put the time and effort to understand his teachings his videos are f- free his uh, seminars are uh, very very extensive very very detailed and his books are free so he is uh, also available online for asking questions 
he has a forum also where you can go and submit your questions i have done so i have uh, i've learned a lot from tom campbell actually i think he is one of my gurus actually and uh, i have i've extensively used his own terminology to describe my own experiences and, and my own theories actually so it is no wonder that whatever he says corresponds almost exactly to the indian philosophies mostly to the advait and uh, our traditional indian occult knowledge and he will provide you with uh, very very rigorous analysis and details of um, his uh, view on that although i don't think he belongs to any of the indian traditions but uh, it is so similar that uh, you will find yourself at home uh, he is a great uh, spiritual teacher in my opinion although he says that uh, i am only a scientist exploring the unknown so highly recommended highly recommended his teachings are very very valuable in this era when the science itself has lost its way the next teacher on our list is a very well known figure in advait now his name is rupert spira and he is one of my favorite teachers actually and he is so eloquent he delivers his messages so beautifully in a very very beautiful and easy to understand language that you will find it very fascinating very um, it is mesmerizing to listen to his teachings and if you think that the advait is very tough very difficult to understand then he is the right person for you because he will break it down to very very simple concepts very easy to understand so highly recommended the next teacher in my list is uh, nirgun john probably he is not so well known and uh, his advantage is that he is one of those rare teachers who is a direct uh, disciple of nisardat maharaj so you will find the same clarity same directness in his teachings although i do not recommend uh, the newcomers to go and watch his videos but you can do that if you want to see what he says uh, his teachings are uh, for intermediate level i think because he does not go and explain the basics all the time he his teaching style is mostly like nisardat maharaj himself so if you are already acquainted with uh, advait vedanta especially of uh, of the nath tradition style then uh, he is the person to hang out with sachri is uh, one of the local teachers here and uh, he is very very popular he delivers his lectures to masses in uh, numbers of thousands and uh, a l- but a lot of content is available online in a well produced format professionally produced format for everyone probably does not belong to any traditions any he uses no heavy words there are no sanskrit shlokas or uh, heavy philosophies to understand there just simple plain teachings and i have found that it leans towards advait a little bit non dualism and uh, he delivers his talk um, mostly in hindi but i think there are some english uh, lectures also so highly recommended for those who are just starting on uh, a spiritual path it does not matter what tradition you are planning to join sir shri is a valuable teacher for uh, all of us there are absolutely no bells and whistles there it is not esoteric it is not uh, hidden his uh, his teachings are so clear that even a child can understand the next teacher in our list is uh, a very well known name muji probably no in- introduction is needed he is a very very famous teacher and also delivers his teaching to the masses and uh, a lot of his satsangs are available on his channel for free for everyone to watch so he is a great teacher indeed 
He probably belongs to the lineage of Raman Maharshi, although I don't think Maharshi set up any lineages, but he is a direct disciple of Papaji himself, Punjaji Maharaj. So, he has the same directness, same clarity in his teachings, just like Raman Maharshi. He points directly to the truth. He does not spend a lot of time discussing a lot of heavy philosophy. His specialty is he brings the students directly to their understanding of their true nature, directly, simply, by answering their questions. So, highly recommended for uh, new as well as old students of uh, any spiritual path. It does not look like that he is talking about Advait, but it is pure Advait in my opinion. And... Uh, Probably you will need to join the satsangs, uh, join his programs if you want to interact with him directly. But uh, all of his videos are free. So probably that is enough for uh, most of the students who want to understand the teachings of Muji. There is some amount of uh, singing and dancing involved there and there are long stories sometimes because he talks in a somewhat traditional manner, just like uh, any other Indian teachers. Uh, and uh, his uh, teachings contain a lot of fluff also. So if you do not mind uh, be sitting in a crowd of a thousand people and uh, listening to him all day, which is actually very entertaining and very pleasurable experience, then uh, Muji is the person for you. However, if you are expecting a highly intellectual talk, straight to the point talk, then uh, probably you should consider some other teacher. Another person, another teacher in our list is Ishwar Puri. Now, he, he is not strictly uh, from the path of knowledge or from Advait. He belongs to the um, Santmat tradition where the Guru is the highest. So, you will find his teachings leaning towards Sikhism sometimes, but uh, the wealth of knowledge that he shares, which is his own experience most of the time, is invaluable. You are going to learn a lot from uh, the talks of Ishwar Puri, and uh, that will be a lot like uh, traditional uh, teachings of Indian Gurus. That means a lot of stories are there from his own life and from the life of his own uh, masters. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the amount of traditional wisdom, ancient wisdom that he delivers is immense. So if you are looking for something like that, that plain wisdom, uh, devoid of heavy philosophies and intellectual garbage, then Ishwar Puri is the person to look for. Another very, very great and famous teacher is Francis Lucille. And he is also one of my favorite and I consider him as my one of my gurus. Uh, he is, uh, his background is science and physics, mathematics. So, whatever he says is crystal clear. It is as precise as any other scientific discourse. You will never find uh, anything which is uh, uh, out of place in his uh, lectures. Although they are not lectures, they are, uh, most of the time they are questions and answers, recordings of his meetings. And uh, it is a good thing that uh, he is available online to answer the questions. You will need to pay a small fee to ask him the questions, but not all of his meetings are online, but most of them are online. And I think they are enough to um, gather a lot of wisdom from Francis Lucille. G.P. Walsh is another person who is available on internet and does the live streams uh, for free. His content is mostly free. Probably you will need to join his seminars if you want to interact with him on a personal level. And uh, I don't know what lineages or uh, traditions he belongs to, but uh, it looks like he is self-taught. But clearly he is on the path of knowledge or uh, uh, 
Advait and also has a, a great amount of knowledge on uh, Buddhism also. So he is a very nice and friendly personality, very very sweet person and he has uh, he answers not only the heaviest kind of philosophical questions but also handles the personal kind of light uh, personal problems and uh, social problems also. So highly recommended for uh, newcomers as well as uh, seasoned seekers who wish to interact uh, online with uh, any guru on in the Advait field. Another well-known personality is Sri M. Now he is not really on path of knowledge but uh, his lectures are very very valuable. The, the immense wealth of traditional knowledge that he holds is uh, mind-boggling. He belongs to the Kriya Yoga path and belongs to the lineage of mysterious Mahatar Babaji. So his lectures are full of stories, very very entertaining stories. And his questions and answer sessions are also full of knowledge. The only thing is that um, there is hardly any structure in his uh, videos. It is just scattered teachings which he has delivered in many many places and even though he teaches Kriya Yoga you are not going to find any Kriya Yoga online because it is something which needs to be taught under the guidance of the Guru so please go and join him if you want to learn Kriya Yoga but if you want some knowledge which is of um, general nature and uh, of traditional nature then his videos will be are going to be very very beneficial Another great teacher on my list is B.K. Shivani. She belongs to the well-known Brahma Kumari's tradition. So she teaches Raj Yoga and you will find the same kind of uh, clarity and precision like Swami Vivekananda on, uh, in, in her teachings also. So a lot of her videos are uh, public, uh, free of course and her uh, questions and answer sessions are very very enlightening. A lot of her teachings are also available in uh, easy to understand Hindi if you are interested. Highly recommended for uh, common people and those even those who are not uh, on any spiritual path will find her uh, videos very enlightening and uh, newcomers should also take a look at those videos. It's not going to you're not going to be disappointed by her teachings. Jim Newman is probably relatively less known and he considers himself uh, under no tradition, no lineage. But uh, I find that he is clearly on the Advaita path or, or non-dual path, path of knowledge. And he has developed his own very very unique style of teaching. So those who listen to him for the first time are probably not going to understand even a single sentence. Of what he says. So I suggest that you familiarize your, yourself with uh, basics of non-duality uh, or Buddhism for example and then watch his videos. So his uh, characteristic is uh, ultimate directness. He is not going to take you through that garden wall kind of teachings which <laughs> uh, most of the teachers use. They take you step by step. Uh, Jim Newman is going to take you to non-duality or emptiness directly. Probably you will be left with uh, no questions after you listen to him because he destroys all the questions. And it is not that you are going to get any answers also. So many people are going to find his teachings very puzzling. But uh, the good thing is it is all available on his uh, YouTube channel. Obviously not for beginners. Another teacher that I like uh, a lot is Om Swami. Now he does not belong to a specific tradition as far as I know. But he does look like a traditional Swami with the clothing and his get up. And he delivers his teachings in both uh, Hindi and English. Uh, you will find that mostly he inclines towards devotional path. But uh, there is a wealth of wisdom in his uh, teachings. Uh, his videos are short and uh, to the point 
on the topics that are commonly discussed uh, and, uh, and the questions that are frequently asked by all the seekers. So you are going, going to find those answers very, very enlightening and informative actually. So I do not see that he is on the path of knowledge, but uh, even those uh, who are Gyanis are going to benefit from his teachings. Swami Atmananda Dasin has a very good YouTube channel where there are short videos of his lectures and his teachings are very, very precise to the point and very, very clear. And some of his teachings are available in French also. Probably you will benefit a lot if you visit him directly, but his YouTube channel is going to give you a glimpse of his level of skill and knowledge and clarity. The last entry in my list for today is Shunyamurti. Now he clearly belongs to a mixed kind of tradition, a mix of um, occult, uh, Advait, Buddhism and uh, Western philosophies. Uh, but uh, his knowledge is immense. He knows everything from every kind of tradition that exists on this planet. And he is, um, his style is uh, something that resembles a revolutionary. His uh, words are very heavy and his uh, knowledge is vast, actually. Very, very generalist kind of approach. So I, I don't think the beginners are going to benefit, but those who have uh, an intermediate amount of knowledge about uh, non-duality and Buddhism and other philosophies are going to find his lectures very interesting. So many of his teachings are available on his channel for free. Sometimes you will find that he speaks in a directional, directionless manner. He drifts a lot. But surely his lectures are very, very entertaining and full of knowledge. So this was my list, some entries from my list for today. And probably I'm going to do another part of this um, video where I'm going to introduce you to less well-known uh, teachers uh, who are uh, giving away their valuable knowledge for free on YouTube. So I hope this uh, introduction to the YouTube Gurus uh, will be beneficial for uh, all the seekers. Thank you very much for listening.